and thank you again for joining me on the CSM workout. Today's workout is going to be an ab chest combined workout. I just got done doing my chest to the chest for the day, and I normally end the day, end my workout with an ab routine, right? But I always like to do a burner burnout in my chest with some push-ups at the end. So I figure why not combine them together. So what I have for you today is a 20 minute workout that's going to combine abs with push-ups. You're going to do six ab exercises, 30 seconds on. You normally would have 10 to 15 second break in between the next exercise. You won't. During that 10, 10 to 15 seconds, and after I'll 15 seconds, you'll be doing a push-up or a variation of a push-up. And then once that 15 seconds is up, with no more than your break, you're going to move right into the next ab. All right? It's not until you finish one full cycle, six ab exercises, or six times off, are you then going to have a little bit of a break, okay? So, first up is lemon squeezers. I'm going to lay down, I'm going to lay down, I'm going to raise my back a little bit off the ground, my shoulder blades. At the same time, I'm going to bring my knees and legs in, and I'm going to stick my arms off the side of them, like this. Brought my knees in, and my arms up, I'll push down the side of them, and back down. In and out, lemon squeezer. If you can't do it, you can kind of hands to the side, and you can bring your knees in, legs in and out, in and out, all right? You do that for 30 seconds. What would have been your 15 second break? You could do regular push-ups. Standard push-up, walk on your knees, just go down, and up, down, and up, all right? After that, we got quite the blades. Hands to my side, keep the arms flat, with the legs, I'm going to dip my legs to the right and keep my back flat and my arms flat. Keep them on the ground, back to center, and then back to the left. I'll always keep the arms flat and the back flat as well. During that 15 second break, so follow, we're going to do explosive push ups. So you can go to the push up position or on your knees. When you go down, you're going to explode up. Okay, you can release your hands and try to push up off the ground. All right, after that, we have circle leg raises. Normal leg raises are just going down, right, and up. These, we're not, we're going to circle. Clockwise, 15 seconds, then halfway through, we're going to switch, and you go counterclockwise, all right? During the, that 15 second forward break, you can jump up here to my bench, you can use stairs, you can go against the wall, and I'm doing incline push ups. Okay? Incline push ups. After that, we have bicycle kicks. I keep my hands on the shoulder, so I have a hand on the neck, whatever's comfortable for you, and we'll do my left knee in, and we'll do my right elbow connect to it. Then I'm gonna switch. Switch, 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 switch. All right, bicycle kicks. After that, dive bomb and push ups. Get like in a downward dog position. All right, and I'm gonna dip down, skim my chest, cross the floor, and bring myself up. And then back down, and up. Dive bomb and push up. All right, then we have Russian twist. Be on the ground, tell the little baby, and rotate side to side. Your whole torso, not just your arms moving, your whole torso. Make it harder, raise your legs off the ground, and do it. Okay? And then well, after that, we'll do hand raise push ups. So, we go down, we start from this position, like you do Superman, without arms extended though. Go up. Wait, well, then go back down, raise your hands, your legs up. Go up. Right? Hand lift push ups, okay? Then after that, the toe touches. Toe touches. Raise your legs up to the ground, off the ground, and reach, 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 reach. Alright? Alright. Last one. 
is that for the push up, it's going to be hike, push up. Stand up straight, leg straight. So you can walk it out for a hand, for a hand walk. Walk back, walk out about one, two, three, about three to four. Step with your hands and stop. And then do a push up. It's called a pipe push up. Keep your legs straight, okay? So again, 30 seconds on for the F, F. What would have been that 15-second break? You're doing push-ups, variation of push-ups. When you complete one round, that's when you finally get the break. We're doing three rounds. Three rounds, 20 minutes of work. Let's go. Here we go. Left push-up is lemon squeezers and right foot push-ups. Here we go.
Five questions.
25 seconds. Let me switch it up. And then we push up last round. Here we go. 10 seconds. Last round. You can do it.
hell of it. A quick 20 minute ab push up workout. It's just brutal. It was really good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Try to change things up. I want to thank all of you, of course, for supporting me and Can't Shake Me. If you want to learn more about Can't Shake Me and what we're doing, I ask you please log on to our website, www.cantshakeme.org. Please like us on Facebook and like us and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As we prepare for Father's Day this weekend, I want to personally give a shout out to my father, who is not with us anymore. But I know he's watching over me, love. I love you, Dad. And thank you for everything you've done for me. You know, the greatest part of being a Father's Day not just recognizing your father, but recognizing yourself if you're a father. There was no greater gift ever given to me than the day that my daughter was born. Man, I love you. I hope that you achieve everything you want in life. To my stepdaughters, I love you both. To my wife, I love you, Tanya. My greatest gift ever with the women in my life. My daughters, my wife, and my mother. To all my fellow partners out there, keep up the good fight. Everyone stay safe, stay strong, be happy. Thank you all again, all, all you fathers out there. Dad, I love you. And I miss you dearly. <sighs>